All right, good morning everyone. It's about 5.07, 5.10 here. Um, I'm just waking up and this is my video, my first video about coming out of um, just hardship and using homelessness to catapult um, yourself to something better. So I'm getting up, I have a side hustle, I'm bringing some money to work and I'm getting paid for that. So yesterday was a choice. Do I buy, I had like $13, okay, to my name. Really not anything because the time I did the video, I had already put $10 in for gas. So was it food or gas I should buy? And I chose gas. And the reason why is because I'm using my car, I'm so-called car hacking, to uh, make money. So that's $20 every morning. So there's $100 right there coming in. Um, I also have a check I lost that I need to call them and get that reissued. So that's going to be a couple hundred there. Um, taxes, when that comes in, there's a big chunk of money there. Um, so use homelessness to take the time to save. I've also used a lot of resources. Um, I have this CAP program where they pay for the hotel for four weeks. That's gonna get me ahead of the game. I'm also looking at places to live and I'm really waiting it out. I'm using all the resources right now to save and I'm waiting it out because it's just, the availability is awful right now. I mean, you are paying for a dump is what you're paying for, for the most part, or you're paying high interest rates. So um, I'm working on everything uh, from the bottom up. Um, and also what I'm going to do today is I have food left over from last week to get me ahead. Um, I have like this morning in my car, I'm going to grab, I have a box of Raisin Bran, a box of Cheerios. Um, I've got a gallon of milk in the refrigerator. Last night, um, my son who also works has um, had some groceries here for dinner. I have the options of food pantries. I haven't even gone to get food stamps yet, which is another option. And then from there, I am going to be doing a video on hotel hacking where when this time is up to stay in a hotel for free, it's going to be rather than house hacking, it's going to be hotel hacking where we are all putting in some money. Um, I have another um, income coming in plus um, my husband is right now you know sleeping in his truck to save money so we have that going on and then my other son just started working with me so the best thing you can do is work and work um, not overwork i mean like i said i'm dealing with um medical issues so i need to deal with that which is going to make this a little harder because i have to deal with the doctors and stuff um but work is your best best option and I may even with this medical stuff going on get a couple more jobs and just pace myself and get ahead that way and then from there with a big amount of money in the bank um, I will be looking to see what my best option is in the future so this is what I would recommend if you're homeless is to um, think of more ideas and the food pantries can be a little tricky right now because you know, you may not have a stove to cook. You may not have certain things that you can use, but you can work around that. So thanks for joining me this morning, guys. And I am on my way to do my side hustle, which I believe side hustles are great. I think they're needed. Um, I watched a video with Matt Diavella talking about side hustles and Greg McGowan. And um, I really enjoyed their video. And they did talk about side hustles. And we live in a side hustle culture. And I think that there is a time that, you know, we do have to put away the side hustle. But there's many times, I mean, it's for survival. And immigrants did, many immigrants have come here on their own hard work. So your biggest resource other than work is yourself. Yourself, know your strengths, know your limits know where you are able to have your gifts and your skills and use them to help yourself. Okay, talk to you next time.